Hey everyone, welcome back to Bazai. Today we're talking about something that's quickly becoming a hot topic in AI systems design, MCP versus API. You've probably been hearing about MCP or the Model Context Protocol and wondering, how is it different from a regular API? Let's break it down clearly. APIs, or Application Programming Interfaces, have been around for decades. They are the backbone of modern software integration. Whenever two apps talk to each other, say your mobile app fetching data from a back-end database, that's usually happening through an API. APIs define how different software systems communicate, what data to send, what responses to expect, and what authentication is needed. However, traditional APIs rely heavily on documentation. Developers need to read API docs and understand endpoints, payloads, and formats like REST, gRPC, or GraphQL. Every system implements it their own way, which is powerful but also inconsistent across tools. Now, here comes MCP, the Model Context Protocol. It's designed specifically for an AI-native world, where communication isn't just between web services, but between models, agents, IDEs, and AI-powered tools. Instead of rigid documentation, MCP is self-describing, meaning tools can dynamically tell an AI what capabilities or resources they have. This allows large language models or agent systems to discover what's available simply by asking, without human setup. For example, think of MCP as a universal connector that lets your local IDE, your AI assistant, and even open tools like Langchain communicate using one standardized format. So rather than juggling REST APIs for each tool, a single MCP layer gives AI agents structured access to everything, from data files to function calls, in context. Let's summarize the differences quickly. Purpose. APIs connect software components. MCP connects AI native agents and tools. Discovery. APIs need human-readable docs. MCP is self-describing. Standardization. APIs vary across styles. MCP aims for one unified protocol for LLMs, agents, and IDEs. So, will MCP replace APIs? Probably not entirely, at least not soon. APIs will still power backend systems and cloud services. But in AI-driven environments, where context, adaptability, and discoverability matter most, MCP could become the new bridge, enabling LLMs to work seamlessly across platforms. What do you think? Will MCP complement APIs or slowly evolve into the new standard for machine communication? Drop your thoughts below, and if you like tech breakdowns like this one, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on Bazaar.